Hello, my name is Katie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I went to edit my October TBR and something happened with my camera settings. A certain somebody in this house used the camera and I didn't check the settings and that's my bad. <laughs> so I'm not, I can't, I can't say it's James's fault, okay? Cause it's, it's not him, I should have checked. This is my thing. Um. Anyway, uh, I can't use the footage because it's driving me crazy how bad the focus is. <laughs> so I am refilming and I haven't fixed the camera settings yet, mostly because I don't know what he changed. So until he gets home from work, I can't ask, but I want to get this done so I can get it up today. So we're just filming at my phone or on my phone at my desk. Um, so the background's different and there's not much I can do about that at this point. Anyway, let's just get into this scary large October TBR. Okay, so first things first, um, September did not go well for me in most regards. Um, I had family in town for a couple of weeks, so I didn't read a whole lot while they were here. And then I had like a really bad anxiety flare up. So I wasn't reading then either. That's why I haven't been super active in anybody's comment section, not even my own. And I'm really sorry for that. I am, it's <sighs> gonna sound really bad, okay. So I've been having like horrifying headaches and like they start at the base of my skull, like in my neck and they kind of like wrap around my whole head and it's making it hard to do anything. Um, so what I've been doing is I've just been laying with like a heating pad on the back of my neck and my shoulders. <laughs> And I've just been like listening to videos. Um, so I'm still here. I'm still watching people's videos and stuff. I just haven't been, I haven't been having a very easy time picking my head up to comment. And I am very sorry for that. But just so you know, I am still here. Um, so that being said, most of my September TBR is being rolled over into October because they are books that I really need to read for one reason or another. Um, but I'm going to start with a few books that I have added uh, in addition to that stack. Um, some of it is from my Trash My TBR, some of it's just because I want to. Um, so let's start with the stuff from my Trash My TBR video. I did kind of like a try a chapter of, I picked like six books that I was on the fence about getting rid of or not, and I selected four from that to add to my TBR. The other two I'm probably going to get rid of, but when I get to next month's Trash My TBR, um, you'll, you'll get all the updates there. So first of all, I actually was convinced that I was going to get rid of this book. And then I started reading it and I kind of like the writing style and I like where it's going. And that is The Alienist by Caleb Carr. Um, this was turned into a TV show and I tried to watch the TV show, but I don't watch a whole lot of TV. And at the time I just wasn't into television. So it, it, it wasn't a thing, but, um, if this goes well, I might try to watch the show again, because so far I'm really liking where this is heading. Next up, I have The Czar of Love and Techno by Anthony Mara. I picked this up in the bookstore and I read like 25 pages of it and then bought it and then didn't, didn't continue it. Um, and I don't know why, because this writing is beautiful. I am enjoying everything about this. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to continuing with this. It is set in Russia, and I've been on a Russia kick lately, and it tra it travels through time. So it starts in like the 1930s, and then we continue forward through time until eventually we're in outer space. Um, very cool premise, beautiful writing style. It's actually a collection of short stories, but they all interconnect around this piece of art, I believe. So I'm extremely excited to continue with this. Next up, I have Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep by Philip K. Dick. I was encouraged to read this by David Wiley. He said it is a classic science fiction work and that he thought it was good. Um, I will link his channel below so you can go check him out. I think he reads a lot of really interesting things and I think he has quite, kind of cool niche um, on booktube. Uh, so yeah, if you want to check him out, the link will be in the description box. Um, I started reading this and I'm not sure how I feel about it yet because it's set in 2021 <laughs> and the things they have, no. <laughs> so that's making it kind of weird for me. Um, 
but I mean it was published at the end of the 60s so we gotta cut him some slack. Uh, so I'll be interested to see how I feel about this if I can separate the fact that it's taking place like virtually in my present day and it's nothing like the life I'm living. I might like it. Okay next up I have Pachinko by Min Jin Lee. This I was really unsure about because I've heard some mixed things <laughs> but I started reading it and I, I really enjoyed the writing style through the first chapter. Uh, and I, I kind of want to continue to see where it goes. This is one where like if I get to a point where I'm not enjoying it I'm probably just gonna DNF it because it's really long, but so far so good. Okay, and then I have three more new editions. One is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I have never read anything by any Bronte and I've never read Jane Eyre and I know I need to. I've been really into gothic fiction lately so I thought I would give this a try. Plus, isn't this just a gorgeous edition? Okay, then I have Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. I started reading this in June, and I've been picking it up and reading a little bit here and there ever since then, but I got to a point where I just pulled the bookmark out, and I was like, I can't do this. Like, I'm, it's so scattered in my brain right now. I, I just need to start over and give it a fair shot, because the writing style is weird, but in a good way. And, like, the basic premise is lesbian necromancers in space, so yeah. Okay, then the final new edition is King Kaiser Czar, Three Royal Cousins Who Led the World to War by Katrine Clay. I started reading this, when did I start reading this? It's been a minute, July maybe? And I've just been reading like a chapter or two every couple weeks or so, and it's, it's good. It's interesting, I like what I'm learning, but the writing maybe isn't as captivating as it could be. Um, but I would like to finish this in October. Let's like rapid fire the nonfiction I didn't read <laughs> in September that was on my September TBR. Um, I'm not going to really give much information about these. I will just link my September TBR in the description box. And if you want to hear more, you can go check that out. Um, I started The Book of Firsts, 150 World Changing People and Events from Caesar Augustus to the Internet by Peter DePiro. This is okay. Um, I'm just reading a little bit here and there. I don't really intend to finish it in October. It's okay. Then I have The Brain, The Story of You by David Eagleman. Um, maybe I'll get, to, I wanna get to it. It's not that long, but man, I've just not, I've just not been reading much. I have Twilight of Democracy, The Seductive Lure of Authoritarianism by Anne Applebaum. This is not even that long of a book. It is like short and it's not that thick. So I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand why I'm not just like getting it done. I just, it is what it is. And then I have Math and the Mona Lisa, The Art and Science of Leonardo da Vinci by Boulin Atele. I need to read this. I know I need to read this. I will get to it, I promise. <laughs> How Not to Be Wrong, The Power of Mathematical Thinking by Jordan Ellenberg. This is one of those where like I had tried a chapter and I enjoyed it and then I put it down and never thought about it again. <laughs> To be fair to myself though, September was rough. Like, mm. And then the last nonfiction I had on that TBR and didn't get to, and I'm really sad about it, is Turn Right at Machu Picchu, Rediscovering the Lost City One Step at a Time by Mark Adams. This might be the first one on this deck that I start just because I had such a good time reading it and I'm the furthest along in it because I couldn't put it down. So I think I'm going to prioritize this one and hopefully that gets me more into the rest of these books. And finally, we have the fiction that I didn't read <laughs> in September. This is so sad. Um, I have The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. This was me. I was an anxious person all month. American Dirt by Janine Cummins. And finally, The Dictionary of Lost Words by Pip Williams. This was one that I kept getting out to read and then just never starting it. So maybe, let's see, it's the 24th as I'm filming. So this this should be going up the 24th. I'm trying to like get it done quickly because of the, the issue with the footage. Uh, so maybe, you know, there's still a few days left in the month. Maybe I'll try to get to this one. So that is uh, most of my September TBR plus a few new books for October. Wish me luck. This is going to be 
I don't know. I'm just not going to pressure myself too much. If I don't get to it, I don't get to it. So let me know what's on your TBR for October or any of these books on your TBR. I would like to know, have you read any of these books? Are there any that I should be prioritizing? would also love to hear that in the comments. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you soon. Bye.